what are the best collaboration tools for remote teams in Google Workspace? If you're a small business owner and you're using Google Workspace, chances are you probably have some team that are not working in exactly the same place as you. If you're anyone running a small business, even without Workspace, our new world is a world of remote and flexible work. So some of the features that Google have built in for remote work have been there since the very beginning because Google have always tried to be a flexible company and they're built on these principles themselves of collaborating remotely and keeping that productive and as efficient as possible. Now, yes, of course, Google has their offices, but they also have a lot of people who work from home and work from different locations as well. So some of the best features that are built into Google Workspace are right from the very beginning, real-time synchronization of your documents. Whether you're working on a presentation, a document, or a uh, spreadsheet, you can see exactly what's going on with other people at the same time. Now, the thing I love about this is obviously it completely eliminates the need to put a file in a folder or attach a file to an email and send it back and forward to someone, which very quickly can turn into someone having the wrong version of the file, someone trying to synchronize and having duplicated copies happen. When you've got a Google Doc, there is only one version of the document that is the live version. Yes, you can access it offline and make changes, but once you're connected back online again, you are working on the live version of the document. Now, I love this because it can really change the game with how you work. Imagine many years ago, I had a supplier and they would send me a new price list every month of all their latest prices. And I always wondered, why don't they just put it in a Google Doc and change those prices and I'll be able to see the latest prices live. And he could give me view access, so I don't necessarily have access to edit the document, but at least I can see everything changing in real time as it needs to. Simple things like that should be implemented right across the business. So I love that one, super useful. So using Google Chat is probably the best ways to keep connected with a remote team. And one of the cool things that Google Chat does is it will help you to see the status of each one of your team members. Now, most of my team have actually finished for the day because it's uh, quite late in the evening in Australia and I am currently in Europe. But when I log in to my Google Chat here, I'll be able to see the status of each person in my business. Now, I'm gonna hover over Andrea here, or is it gonna show her status? Maybe let's try opening. Here we go, cool, all right. So if I hover over Andrea's status here, it's gonna show me that she's currently on Do Not Disturb, maybe because it's uh, evening time for her. If someone is currently in a meeting, I'll get a little orange notification that says, hey, they're either away from their desk or they're in a meeting at the moment. If they've got a meeting on their calendar, it's gonna automatically change their status to having a meeting. I love that. And of course, if they're green, it means, hey, they're there, they're online, and uh, you know you can reach out to them if you need to. Now, chat should come with a warning because it can be a bit of an interruption station for you and your team. And my strong preference is that you don't go interrupting people all day long on chat. My recommendation would be that you use a project management or shared task management app of some sort to get your work done. But when you really need it, chat is great. It feels like you're just there. And it's way better than using text messages or WhatsApp or Messenger because those are all options that just really kind of hurt your team's productivity. It also is a bit weird to receive messages from your boss on your personal mobile when you're trying to text your friends there and maybe you don't wanna see your boss in your personal inbox. That's where using chat is great because it can be put into a dedicated app. Each of your team members can chat with each other in the dedicated app and it doesn't have to encroach into their personal life. It also means that you've got a backup of every conversation as well. Google Workspace keeps a backup of everything and so you're able to see all of your conversations as you need to, search back through the history, and you don't have to worry about someone's phone or device going missing and losing company data. Next up, working with Google Meet and Google Video, I absolutely love. Many people still use Zoom. I think that's a bit nuts because Google Meet does everything that Zoom can do, and because it runs in the browser, you don't have to worry about downloading the meeting recordings at the end of the meeting and then uploading them manually. You don't have to worry about converting the meeting recordings. They all just happen automatically to your Google Drive using the auto record button. You can automatically create notes if you want. If you wanna have Gemini listen to your meeting and transcribe notes and give you a summary of the meeting, you can do that. And of course, it can annotate the meeting with other people as well. If you're, you're online and you're doing a presentation and multiple people are hosting or you're doing a webinar, there's annotation tools that work online in the Google Meet and multiple people can collaborate on those, which we really love. Now, we use this all the time for our remote teams. We jump on a meeting, we open up a presentation or we open up, I don't know, a game or something. 
Whatever we're doing, we are using Google Meet for it right across our business and we absolutely love that. If you liked this video, we've got plenty more on the channel covering this topic and much, much more.